called about hot ones. Extreme Spice Challenges. They've been around as long as YouTube has. What started as people just eating hot peppers on camera turned into a cultural phenomenon. Earlier this month, we showed you a clip of Shaquille O'Neal attempting to eat a ridiculously hot tortilla chip without breaking a sweat. Without making a face. Anybody <laughs> got some milk? That spice culture led our company, Vat19, to introduce the world's hottest chocolate bar, ha! the toe of Satan, ha! 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 and the world's hottest gummy bear, Lil Nitro. Big mistake! Now an entire creator community has arisen devoted solely to these extremely spicy challenges, and there have even been some people hospitalized and other spice-related incidents. But despite some of the dangers, Sitting at the top of the cultural spice mountain, the talk show, Hot Ones, where famous guests get interviewed while eating extremely spicy wings. So what would happen if one human only ate extremely spicy food for 30 days straight? And would that be enough to reach the spice peak and get on the show Hot Ones? Jamie Salvatore is about to find out. This is the 30 Day Spice Challenge. Day one, only eating spicy food. Let's do this. All right, Jamie, 30 day spice challenge. Do you think you'll complete it? Why would I do it going into it thinking that I might fail? Do you think you'll have to like go to the hospital at all? Go to the hospital? What do you think will happen with hot ones? Do you think you'll get on? I'm not famous at all like the people that are typically on that show. I'm hoping that this story will be intriguing to them and we can get enough people on social media being like, justice for Jamie, you know, put him on the show. I know I'm not famous like Millie Bobby Brown. We're gonna manifest this into yep. existence. Let's go buy a month's supply of spicy food. Blue Diamond Ghost Almonds pepper. Extreme. <laughs> Ghost pepper salsa, some Takis. I think we can spice this up. We're heading to um, El Morelia Supermercado. This one's yeah. This one's extra, extra yeah. spicy. Yeah, yeah. Hot. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. really. Hot. Starting to think I'm gonna bit off more than I can chew. You think you're gonna be really sad if all of this just doesn't work out and you went through all that and you don't get on the show? I understand that I'm I'm not the type of person that they are looking for on that show. Mark Rober, he's a YouTuber, but he's far more popular and famous than than I am. Maybe they'll think this is this is cool and want to meet the person that only ate spicy food for a month. We actually sell a lot of spicy stuff, like challenge level, some of the spiciest stuff in the world. This is the hot sauce roulette. This is the ass blaster hot sauce. Okay, this is Carolina Reaper powder. This is the world's hottest chocolate bar. I'm never eating this for fun over the next 30 days, sorry. Do you think Sean Evans can do it? If I can get on the show, I would love to see him try this and I would eat it with him. Okay, so one idea that we had was maybe Jamie can make a bunch of TikToks of what he eats every day along with these extreme spice challenges and that will get Sean Evans' attention and then eventually maybe an invite on the show. I don't know, we'll see. The folks at Hot Ones, oh, oh boy. I'm going to eat only super spicy food for the next 30 days. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, everything must be spicy. And to those watching on TikTok, I know what you're thinking. He's not super famous. You probably already forgot my name. It's Jamie. But if you want to change that and get Hot One's attention, tell them in the comments to invite me on their show. This wing is now twice as spicy as the last dab from Hot Ones. And my challenge starts now. Oh, what have I done? Am I on the show yet? Has anyone tweeted them? <laughs> no! Ah! Yeah. Okay, who wouldn't want this cool guy on their favorite show? Well, this is gonna be my life for 30 days. So since you're on this road to the hot ones, we've made you 12 wings, each hotter than the next. We used our hot sauce roulette, which has 12 hot sauces that go up in level. Starting with one is the jalapeno. That's good. Made. Yeah? I'm going to number two. I'm waiting until you get to six until I do my next one. I feel like a hornet stung my lips. <laughs> And they're just, it's just like. <coughs> oh yeah, try doing this for every meal. My God. I really don't want to eat anymore. You're early on in your journey here. We're just getting a base yeah. level of kind of where you're at. Okay, so you may have heard the word Scoville being thrown around to measure spice. But what is it and how does it work? Back in 1912, a pharmacist with a palate for spice, Wilbur Scoville, 
decided to measure the spice level of hot peppers by diluting them with increasing amounts of sugar water until he couldn't sense the heat. Now, since 1912, chemists have figured out a much more accurate way to find the scova levels of a pepper. Now that you're a spice expert, a standard jalapeno would clock in at about 10,000 of those Scoville heat units. But the stuff Jamie will be eating for the challenge will be in the millions. All right, we're at the flamethrower factory with Dustin, founder and owner, where they make the toe of Satan, the world's hottest lollipop, Lil Nitro, the world's hottest gummy bear. Hottest gummy bear. Let's go check it out. All right, let's go. This is 9 million Scoville unit chili extract. So and as you can see, it's incredibly thick. It's incredibly hot. Would you uh, like to try some? <laughs> okay, that's just the tip of a pin. Am I gonna end up rolling around yep. on the floor hallucinating? Probably, yes. Ah. Oh dear. It's very hot. You know, it's continuing the build. Yeah. It's moving to the ear, canal area for some reason. It's cursing aloud in this factory. God damn it. That's the hottest thing I've ever had by far. What a great experience. I'm uh, Dr. Richard Blaylock. I, uh, I'm an orthopedic surgeon. Do you think there's a chance that I could permanently damage parts of my body doing this challenge? There's a condition called irritable, irritable bowel syndrome or IBS. They see higher incidences of that with eating spicy food, and that can lead to problems like diarrhea, heartburn. Well, how many people have eaten this much spicy food ever? I don't know. I think you're a very unique person, a great candidate to get on the show because people just don't do this. And there may be a good reason they don't do it because the, the negative health consequences of it. All right, Dr. Blaylock, thank you so much. I appreciate the advice and thank you for your time. All right, Jamie, you feeling worse or better after that? Definitely not better. I just keep thinking about all the cultures that eat spicy food, you know, all the time. And like, they're fine. But do you know for a fact that they eat it all the time? I don't know if I don't know if they eat it for 90 meals in a row. I don't know that. See, I think the problem is no one's ever done this before, so they don't really know. Yeah, you're the guinea pig. Yeah. First week in the books. How you feeling? Well, I've I've made a lot of mistakes. Cannot seem to get the dosage right in order to make a meal super spicy, but not so spicy that I can't even eat it all. Been using a lot of the Carolina Reaper powder, because it's just easy to throw in. Been using a lot of the hot honey. Breakfast is killing me. I have such a hard time making a decent breakfast. <laughs> I'm breathing it in. It was hot. You gonna try some? Tastes good. <clears throat> you want to ask me about um, my anus at all? It is raw. The other thing that's annoying is just filming everything you eat. And then this past weekend, it was Penny's birthday dinner. Take her out and a bunch of friends, and I'm bringing in my own hot sauces and setting up a camera at the table. And the hibachi guy is like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> and uh, you know, spicing up my meals and recording it. And the first TikTok challenge went live. Uh, how do you feel like it's gonna do? We go viral, right? Eric wanted me to check on the stats for our TikTok. Okay, let's just check the sort of the comments. Somebody commented Hot Ones Game Show. Everybody tag him. Oh, there's a lot of Hot Ones Game Show. Come on, dude, put him on the show. See it, get him on your show, invite him. Okay, he's trying so hard to do it. Come on, dudes. Before he's <laughs> get him on the show before he destroys his insides. Correct. Please look. I'm scared he might hurt himself <laughs> eating it for a month. Yeah, well, we'll see. Let's do our best to make this happen, folks. We've got 30 days of pain coming up. Jamie's quest to get on Hot Ones just got its first big break from a man who works directly with the show. More on that later. I wanted to be able to get you on like a video interview if it was even possible like me and some of my crew would love to come out to your farm there uh yeah let's plan on getting some done in the next couple weeks we're going to south carolina baby with still no word from hot ones jamie tried some even bigger stunts to get their attention 
Hey, what's going on, everybody? For First Week Feast, I'm Sean Evans, and you're watching Hot Ones. Hi, Sean. I'm so... Hi, mother... Oh, okay. Before we get started, how are you around spicy food? I've gotten a lot better since I started my 30-day challenge where I'm only eating spicy food, but, uh... My stomach is still figuring it out, uh, if you catch my drift. I don't know what that means. It means I'm shitting a lot, Sean. You know Coyote Peterson? He's been on Hot Ones. We paid Coyote Peterson via Cameo to send a message to Sean being like, hey, you should let Jamie on Hot Ones. He like wrote a script for like, say these 30 words or whatever. What he sent us back was not really what we asked for. Kyle, yeah. chopped it up. We wanted to make it obvious that it's not the video he sent us. Jamie Salvatore. Buddy, buddy, I hope that you're doing well. Love you, brother. Gosh, can't believe it's already been five years. Jamie, he's doing a reckless 30 day spice challenge. Sean, he wants to come on Hot Ones to possibly challenge you or maybe snort some spices. Sean, have him on Hot Ones. Jamie, thanks for ordering the cami and uh, we'll catch up soon. Two views, boy. Let's hope for the best. Oh, we're going to Buffalo Wild Wings. I want to test my tolerance and do their like spicy wing challenge where you eat like 10 Carolina Reaper wings in five minutes. Uh, <laughs> you do have this on this contract. You can okay. kind of go through it, skim through it if you like. Go. Allison, you look terrified. That's a lot of food, man. Yeah. It's just like, oh, you can't, you can't look. Oh, it's so good. Checking in. I, two weeks. No, how you feel? Two weeks. Um, my stomach has been better. It's just churning all the time. It's only 9, 10 in the morning. That's the third number two of the day. Everything that comes out of me is like a salsa now. I think my wife is getting a little annoyed with this challenge. He's irritating. I can't make my buttermilk pancakes because you'll just ruin them. I don't want to carry condiments into a restaurant. I think that's weird. I don't know how much longer she really wants to put up with this. I don't like hearing about it. I don't like any of it. What if I get on hot ones? You're going to be like, tell all the ladies at the soccer games, like, my husband was on hot ones. Oh, yours is an anesthesiologist? Pfft, lame. Who do you think I'm going to get on? I think it'd be wonderful if he did, but I don't think he'll get on. Well, see, everyone believes in me. I'm like almost halfway done. You gotta do it. I gotta do it, right? What happened with the uh, chicken sandwich? What What happened with the chicken sandwich? I, dude, I almost thought I was dying. I'm out here at Chuck's Hot Chicken. They've got apparently a very spicy chicken sandwich. I'm gonna try that number six. And then right next to them, they have a tattoo parlor here. So the tattoo parlor has a deal if you can eat the number six sandwich and not have any water for six, uh, for 10 minutes afterwards, they give you a free tattoo. So let's try to get a free tattoo today. Get a free tattoo, we're not gonna eat it. Hi. Are you already a pickup? Hi. Right. Two by six. You match your match? Yeah, I can't finish it. Uh, I thought I could. Yeah, I can't eat it. I met my match. I wanted to get that free tattoo for Steven, but. You're a champ, bro. You're a champ. This is the worst I've ever felt from Spice. I thought I was going to get a tattoo, but, well, I said I almost lost my balls. So you didn't finish the sandwich? No. I mean, it burned the throat so hard that's what i couldn't handle i had to throw up in the parking lot of chuck uh, chuck's hot chicken I, I i can't believe it that like it hit you that hard it's that hot yeah is it worse than appendicitis yes any word like on from hot ones or it's been radio silence from hot ones yeah. haven't heard anything yet but sometimes no news is good news <laughs> right 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 uh but me and you have a trip planned. That's right. Even with Jamie's digestive system on life support, we headed to North Carolina to meet the man who I mentioned earlier, Smokin' Ed Curry. Not only did Ed invent several of the world's hottest peppers like the Carolina Reaper, he makes the hot sauce exclusively for the Hot Ones show. We're in beautiful Charlotte, North Carolina, near the farm where Smokin' Ed Curry 
invented and grows the Carolina Reaper pepper. What's your favorite part of your business? My favorite part of the business is probably picking peppers. These are some plants I've been playing around with. What are you hoping to get from these experiments? Like a new type of all pepper? Of the, all of these will be new peppers, but none of these are like will be a contender for the world record. Like that scotch bonnet, I wanted to get more weight into scotch bonnets. So I bred it with something else so it would be bigger. Do you think there's any chance that like the folks at Hot Ones would, would have me on their show even though... Are you taking a picture for... Um, he's texting somebody. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he just sent a picture of me to Sean Evans. Don't you make the mash for the for his last dab? I make the last dab. You make? Okay. I make all the classics, I make the last dabs, I make the Apollo, I make a lot of things. Wait, what? That's good. This is rough. This is a super concentrated tincture. It's just pure pepper oil, but it is an experience. No, we don't sell this. This is private stash stuff. Guess what? So? You're addicted already. You might be addicted I'm to I'm addicted peppers. to what? Peppers. Why do you think I'm addicted right. to peppers? Because you just did a gauntlet and you just sitting there smiling and you're mm -hmm. having fun. And you're going to want it. And you're going to want more. Because <laughs> of... <laughs> This guy's a spice dealer. <laughs> You've hurt me. <laughs> You're a good guy. Yeah, I love you. Uh, I just got done with the uh, interview here with Jamie and Smoking Ed, and I have been touching everything that's covered in Carolina Reaper, and I'm burning and sweating, and that was a you, tough, you tough look, interview to get through. Cause you look I am covered. I'm like covered in it. With Jamie at a spice high, we headed back to St. Louis, now one degree away from Hot Ones. Mine's a little blown, just got off the phone with smoking Ed Curry. He was on the phone with the folks at Hot Ones, no. told Sean, and apparently Sean was like, ah oh, man, I wish I'd come up with that idea myself. That's good. And he said they were open to the idea of doing something with us. That's huge! That is huge! While we waited for word from Sean Evans and Hot Ones, we kept the challenges going. I've been training for the One Chip Challenge by only eating spicy food. So let's see how I do. How long can you last before you short circuit? One minute, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour. I'm trying to enjoy the pain. I wipe my eyes. <laughs> I've seen Sean Evans, my idol, eat this thing. You were really like, Complaining. I feel like a lot more than I've been. I'm never doing this again. I think I'm past the worst part. Your ass is in the jackpot now! Sean, get me another one. Garson! Oh man. That one chip challenge, like, it gave me the worst heartburn I've ever had. I really feel like I'm gonna throw up. Like, I'm worried about even trying to drive home because I feel like I might throw up in my car. I could handle the spice, but holy cow. What a terrible, what a terrible challenge. Okay, so Eric had me do the one chip challenge, which I pretty much crushed, um, even though I was a I was a bit sick afterwards. And now he wants to see if my spice tolerance really has increased. So he wants me to do the world's hottest chocolate bar challenge, which I've done previously. Back in 2017, I ate three of the 12 pieces. And so the question is, how many can I do now after eating only spicy food for like the last three weeks? The idea is to do one piece a minute till you can't go any further or you finish the bar. I don't want to do this. <coughs> I guess we're going on to the fourth piece. I don't know, man. I'm buzzing in here. Throat. Oh. Buzzing. I kind of want to stop. That's enough for me. Deviled it. That's so hot. Week three, Jamie. It's in the books. I might be becoming a spice addict. I now crave it. A dab will do. A dab will do. A dab will do. 
I feel like I'm putting this whole bottle on this. I'm searching for that next spice high. It gives you a high. That's science. Family's definitely sick of this uh, challenge. I'm sick of the spice. Every Why meal has to be a whole production. You can't just sit down and like eat. It. We can never find you in the house because you're always in the bathroom pooping. I do think this is unique. Just because nobody's special. ever done it doesn't mean it's super special. I don't know. I think it's over. over. I think we're done. Pull up Mr. Beast and be done with it. Do you think your school would let me jump in and use their toilet? No, done, done, you can. I think they're at their wits end. Yeah. Would you ever do anything like this? Stupid. So I hope you're happy, TikTok. There's four miserable kids that you can't see off camera. We haven't heard anything from Hot Ones, have we? Maybe they want to see me complete it before they reach out. The last dab sauce, the Reaper edition. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's really coming out now. Like one good bite per wing, really. <laughs> Since Jamie was still a little bummed about not hearing from Hot Ones, I cooked him up a little something special for his last day of the challenge. Welcome. This is Not Hot Ones, presented by Vat19. I'm your host, Eric Christensen. With me today is, you know him, you love him, Jamie Salvatore. You're doing all last dab Carolina Reaper edition wings. But how can it be the last one when there's nine more? Yeah. I'm not doing it. If you can get to 10, I'll do this one with you. Okay. <laughs> oh, gosh. You had some big YouTube beef with a famous YouTube personality. And I get this email from an idol. One of my you know, favorite YouTubers of all time. And I open this thing up and they're just trashing me. Yeah. And if you want to find out more about that story, you'll have to... <laughs> Bring me on Hot Ones, and I'll tell Sean Evans all about it. There you go, there you go. Do you have any regrets about this challenge over the past 30 days? I'm excited to stop filming myself eating my meals. But I definitely don't regret it. Are you ready for your next wing here? Yeah, okay. My lips are burning. Do you feel like there was a high and a low of the spice challenge? The high was Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah. I wore that headband the whole next day. You make a good wing, Eric. Hey, thanks. You make a good wing, Eric. <laughs> Three second roll. <laughs> it's a third degree burn in my mouth. What would you say is your low? Vomiting in a strip mall parking lot mm -hmm. after having four bites of a spicy chicken sandwich. Mm -hmm. It's getting hot in here. Yeah. As the kids would say, it's hot AF. AF in my mouth hole. <laughs> oh, God. All right, now that we're talking about holes, what was your worst slash best bathroom? moment. <laughs> I did poop my pants once at a one-year-old's birthday party in a park. Wait, what? What do you think your family felt about all this? They weren't that proud of me. You know, and every day they're like, you want hot ones yet? I'm like, no. And they're like, well, this is stupid. Stupid. Why are they getting bigger at the <laughs> end here? I don't know. If you had to do another challenge like this of 30 days, what do you think your next one would be? Learn how to TikTok dance. Yeah. What if I could do that, Eric? All right, I'm in. All right, you ready for the last one? All right, oh, for the last on, one. Hold on, hold on. What? Hold on for what? Dab it. <laughs> F dude. <laughs> Woo! All right, Jamie, you made it through the challenge, so you get the honor of plugging whatever you want to right into that camera. World's hottest chocolate bar available now at vet19.com. Hottest thing on the planet. We're done. All 30 days in a row, only eating spicy food is finished. 90 meals in a row, plus snacks, everything. Super spicy. Check the TikToks if you don't believe me. I'm a little bummed that Hot Ones never reached out. Maybe when they see this video, they'll say, okay, this guy did the spice marathon that's never been done before, and they'll reach out. It was a crazy ride. I enjoyed it, but I know my toilet didn't. <laughs> Bat19.com